All plants use photosynthesis to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and to obtain carbon atoms for food and to make structures within the cell. Since forests contain large concentration of, pl of plants, they are a main terrestrial facilitator of carbon dioxide removal from the atmosphere. Temperate forests in the Great Lakes region store about 44% of their carbon in soil. Some carbon in the soil cycles rapidly, staying there for just hours or days, while other carbon-based molecules remain in the forest soil for years or even decades. For my honors thesis, I am examining how two ongoing processes, namely the rising temperatures caused by global climate change and the introduction of non-native earthworms, may be changing the dynamics of carbon cycling and storage in forest soils. Rising temperature quickens decomposition. This is why groceries will spoil if you leave them out of the refrigerator for too long. When dead plants and animals decompose, the carbon in their tissues is released back into the atmosphere as carbon dioxide. So accelerated decomposition means that carbon will stay in the soil for less time. I therefore expect that warming temperatures will decrease the amount of carbon stored in forest soils. Any earthworms native to the Great Lakes region were killed by an ice age almost 10,000 years ago. Since then, European earthworms have been introduced to the United States and are currently colonizing forests in the Great Lakes region and altering the structure of the forest floor. Earthworms mix the soil layers and move dead plant matter from the surface to subterraneous burrows. This effectively buries the plant matter and reduces its exposure to oxygen, slowing down decomposition. However, when earthworms eat the plant matter that they've dragged into their burrows, they break the plant into smaller particles that are potentially easier for bacteria to decompose. These two opposing actions, one that increases decomposition rates and one which decreases them, means that under different conditions, earthworms can increase or decrease the amount of carbon in soil making it difficult to predict the net effect earthworms have on carbon storage in Great Lakes forest soils. Studying how rising temperatures and earthworm presence affect forest soil carbon cycling will help create more accurate predictions of how carbon will cycle in forest soils in the future.